Hello and welcome to my world of crochet. My name is Tine and uh, today I'm here with you for a yarn haul video. In fact, this is my fourth official yarn haul from Volplein Pendanel or also known in English as Yarn Plaza. They have a bunch of different yarns, including some more luxurious yarns compared to many of your standard yarns. And um, I snatched a good deal uh, in combination with them sending me a birthday gift, uh, which was basically a voucher to use um, to get some extra discount. Uh, it did have a few limitations on them. For example, I could not use it on crop yarns, uh, but generally I could get a, a flat rate discount of, I do believe it was five euros. Um, uh, in connection with my birthday and I thought hey it's my birthday I'm allowed to celebrate that said when you are watching this video it's probably like been a month since my birthday um, but that's just to give you an insight as to uh, to some of these purchases also uh, this yarn haul um, in this little box we have some yarns from Alang Yarns we have some Alana Grassa and we have some Katja Concepts um, for me, all three yarns um, is yarns I've never had in my hands before. And me not having had a yarn in my hands before makes me extra curious to feel how are these yarns feeling. Uh, and of course, I do have project ideas for these yarns, else I wouldn't have bought them. The problem is just I can quicker buy that yarn yeah, than I can crochet them up. But I think we all kind of suffer a bit from that. Um, and as before we talk about it, as you can see here, I do have my faithful mug of tea and uh, we cannot talk yarn or anything crochet related without me having my tea here. And today it's just a plain, plain black tea with a flavor of forest fruit. Hmm. Just a lovely neutral tea. So I am going to... It does not look like I can do this without enduring too much. I have a scissor and I am going to nicely cut open this bag. Hopefully without too much noise. Um, and without cutting the yarns, but it looks like I am safe from that. So we are almost there. I just want to make it a nice cut so that I can possibly easily close this bag again. Um, and let's see what they have for me. They do have a nice little folder here saying wool plain. And here we can see all the many different brands that they carry. They have Katja, Lana Gossa, Durable, Pink Label, Drops, Schepius, Stylecraft, Lang Yarns, Rico Designs, and Yarns and Colors. So they do have a nice, good, solid selection of yarns. Um, and it says a lot of text here in Dutch, so I will translate this for you guys. This store is open Monday to Saturday, every day from 9 to 5 in the Dutch city of Saltbommel. Um, Saltbommel is, I don't know, 45 minutes drive from here. Um, and I'm probably not inclined to go there anytime soon, but who knows, maybe out in the future I might go there. Um, I cannot give you any promise of that because it's just not a place that I would easily go with public transportation. So I would be pretty dependent on having a car and um, over the day, Monday to Friday, I do work every day. Um, and Saturdays I'm usually pretty busy to just squeeze in going just for a random yarn visit. Um, of course, if Woolplan would ever invite me to a tour there, um, I would definitely try to do my very best to go there. So uh, Woolplan, by this, you hear my interest of possibly going there. Um, it is by the Woolplan Inspiration Centre in Selbommel. There is all year round a wool, so a yarn outlet, uh, where you can find the most prettiest yarn with discounts up to almost 90%, obviously that would depend on the individual yarns. Um, so basically it's possible to get yarns and yarn skeins there from as far down as to just one euro a skein. So it can really be a good deal. So a real outlet. So it's basically an advertisement for their own outlet, but it's, it's, it's good to know. So 
the quick sneak peek into this reveals yarns and oh yes this feels gorgeous oh my goodness there should be one more somewhere in there um lang yarns paradise they are slightly differently caked up but they are the same um cakes and probably also the same dye lots i haven't really checked they're gorgeous aren't they so i'm going to give you one and i'm going to read on the other um i have three i should have i thought i ordered three of them now i'm in doubt because i only see two but it could be that the other one is further down the pack um so one for you let's see one for you to look at and my pretty face a little bit here to the left this is the colorway 72 i do they call it aqua lila lilac and rose so basically aqua colors with purple colors with rose colors i do agree with that um it is the lot number 2233 about 35 both of them um it can be washed at a 30 degrees so that's 85 degrees fahrenheit uh, can be ironed at low. It can be dry cleaned. Do not tumble dry. Do not bleach. Um, use detergent for fine wash without any softener. So it's important that you do not use soft fabric softener with these. Um, these gains 100 grams each. So that's three and a half ounces. Uh, these cakes, I would say. It's probably it's more correct to say cake. Um, for these uh, three and a half ounces, 100 grams, you get 310 meters of yarn. 310 meters of yarn is about 300 and close to 35, 335, 340 yards. Um, they say that you need um, three cakes for a 10 year old shirt, sweater, women's uh, 400 grams and men's uh, 500 grams uh, to probably knit with. I was thinking of making shawls of this. I will be 100% honest and say I did have a shawl in mind. I have not decided on a pattern, but I know I want to make a shawl of this. The yarn content here is 78% a cotton and 22% a viscose. I do believe viscose is what causes the sort of shiny effect on it. And that is the Lang Yarns Paradise. I think it's an absolutely gorgeous yarn. And you know what? It's also insanely soft for something um it's very very soft i'm almost regretting i didn't get a few more skeins and then maybe um get a summer top or something like that instead out of it um well few decisions it feels really really wonderful i am quite happy with what i have right here i should have three so there might come another one later on in this yarn haul if they do, then you know the specs already, and I will just find it for a reminder. Oh, this feels good. This feels really good. This is the concept by Kasia. Uh, sorry, the concept by Katya, and that is the cotton cashmere. And you can see here it's a colorway 58, and that's the one they call a light jeans. It's a light blue. And it's, this is also oh, very, very soft. Again, shawl or scarf is what I've planned with this. I've not exactly defined the exact um, pattern, but I have planned a scarf for it. Um, they are not easy to read yarn specs on. This is probably easier than... And this one so i am going to give you this one to look at and i'm going to attempt to read from this one the kasha concept here concept cashmere cotton cashmere it's gorgeous and it feels as gorgeous as it looks this is a 50 grams gain so it is a 1.75 ounces to 155 meters of yarn 155 meters of yarn is about 169 yards the yarn content here of this is a 10 uh, sorry 90 percent cotton and 10 percent cashmere this is my first official cashmere yarn and it really feels yeah i can't even describe it gorgeous 
It can be washed at 30 degrees. It does not say hand wash, so you can wash it, but I do assume a gentle. 30 degrees is 85 degrees Fahrenheit. You can iron at low, you can dry clean. Do lay flat to dry, do not tumble dry, and do not bleach. Um, you need about seven skate for a medium sized sweater. They recommend a crochet hook of two to two and a half millimeters. That seems really small though, but um, probably true. Um, and knitting needles, two and a half to three and a half millimeters. That is pretty much it. Um, I don't remember how many I got. I think I got five or six of them. There is two, three, four, I got more, <laughs> five, I got six of them. And uh, it, it really feels gorgeous. Um, and I got it on sale also. So all of these yarns I got for sale, I think I had at least 20% off of all of them, like 20% discount. So, um, oh my goodness. It's still like for euro 75 with discount. And uh, the Lang Paradise here were nine euros and six cents also with discount. So the original price, so these normally are six euros 80. And this is almost 13 euros a, a ball. So um, they are luxurious yarns, um, definitely. And there is one more of the Lang yarns. As I said, I felt quite confident that I had bought three of them. And there are three. They just wound a slight bit different, but there are three. Um, so there was that for my um, shawl. So these are all, I, I, I planned shawls for all of them. Um, why? I like shawls. Um, different kind of shawls. Oh, this feels really good. <laughs> I'm going to show you now the last yarn that I ordered in this yarn haul, which is the Lana Grossa Gomitolo Alpaca. So as you can hear in the yarns, it is an alpaca yarn. Um, and this gorgeous. Look at these blues and reds. Blues and rusty reds, still blues and rusty reds, actually. And it's very, very scarfable. Yes. Um, I do believe I got the last ones. Um, I bought three skeins of these. There are also two more in the bag. I bought three of them, um, sold out. Um, again, these are normally like 15 euros a ball. I got them for 11 euros 20. Um, it's a colorway 370. Um, I do not have any further name for it. Lana Grossa, Gomitolo Alpaca. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one out and then I will give one for you to look at. And I will try to read about the yarn specs on this one. We have 100 grams, so three and a half ounces to 350 meters. 350 meters is pretty close to 400 yards. Um, it is a 43% alpaca, baby alpaca. So it's, it is really super soft. 29% acrylic, 18% polyamide and 10% merino wool. So, oh, it's so soft. Um, I just, I just cannot explain how soft this yarn is. It's, it's, it's so insanely soft. I would probably have more than two would have been enough to make me a good scarf. Um, I did three because then I can definitely make a nice a sized a poncho. Let's read about this. So it recommends knitting needles as four and a half to five millimeter. It does not have any recommendations for crochet hooks. Um, it is, I would say this is probably a three weight yarn. It is slightly rowing style. So it is rowing style actually, because it does have, as you can see, it goes from thicker to thinner. Um, and I'm going to see if I can get some yarn on my finger here. I would say this is a three weight. Maybe, I'm not sure I would call it a four weight, maybe slight four weight, depending on if you get to some of the thicker parts. But I would say generally it's a three weight yarn. Um, they say to get 10 by 10, it's 7 by 22, blah, blah, blah. What I want to know is you need, for a medium sized shirt, you need about three skeins of these. So, like, 
unfortunately i'm not wearing medium and i don't knit but um we are doing something else then can be washed at 30 degrees celsius so that's 85 degrees fahrenheit sorry for looking down here but it's because it's really difficult to read in here um can be ironed at low can be dry clean lay flat to dry do not bleach and do not tumble dry that's pretty much it oh it's so gorgeous and soft this is like squishy soft nice like i got wonder balls before and other gumitolo yarns from um lana grassa this this is just one different you, now you can see the blue shade on the outside a bit more clear this yarn really feels awesome absolutely gorgeous three skeins i could sleep with this and i'm so happy i do not have any wool in it allergies but this yarn is so soft cashmere yarns and alpaca yarns what's not to like and now i'm sitting with it here and i'm realizing how much the catcher cashmere looks on the blue like these two blue shades i wonder if they use the same dyer because they are so close like if i take up this one you could easily match them if you wanted to gorgeous um and i have to say even this 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 yarn you know it looks better in real life than it does in the photos and it feels amazing i'm happy i'm i'm, I'm so very happy with this order anyhow um if you like watching me being totally flabbergasted about yarn um or just sharing yarns and watching yarns and quickly spontaneously reviewing yarns that you might not have seen before or only just vaguely heard about well hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it already that is a great way of supporting my work um and i would love to add you to my yarny family if you haven't joined it already um and also make sure you turn that notifications on because every time i do post new videos then you will get notified about them and on this channel you find everything related to yarn crochet and much more so um yeah, what is it to say except for this? Um, yeah, hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up if you like it. Feel free to share my content. And um, yeah, stay tuned for another video. Regardless, yarn hauls, yarn talks, tutorials, much more. And uh, yeah, take care and happy crafting. Bye.